morning, Chargers. I'm Savannah Bell. I'm Lena Robinson. I'm Kennedy Mark. I'm Abby Forget. I'm Kenny I'm Sanders. Jared I'm Jenny. I'm Emil and Matt. And I'm Jordan Hines. I'm Brianna Santos. I'm Kayla Derrick. I'm Alyssa Graziosi. I'm Tina Black. Good morning. It is going to be a pretty good day. Aaliyah Simmons is here. She stays with us today as temperatures will reach 91 degrees. Matt, let's go to Sierra, who is here with today's weather forecast. Hey, girls. Are you excited? I am. And this is the morning show on CTN. Good morning, Chargers. I'm John Antonio, and this is the morning show on CTN. I'm Savannah Vellon. Today is Friday, January 22nd, 2016. John, I am so excited about the snow that's coming tonight. So am I, Savannah. Did you hear what the latest forecast is saying? I haven't, but I bet that Jordan can tell us all about it. Jordan, what's the word on the snow that's arriving tonight? You guys, this storm is going to be epic. A blizzard watch was issued yesterday for several countries in PA, New Jersey, and Delaware. In case you're wondering, Newcastle County is under a blizzard watch. That means that a lot of snow mixing with a lot of wind is going to make it travel very difficult. So I hope you aren't planning going anywhere this weekend. What are they saying for snow totals right now? Well, John, as of yesterday, they said that we are going to see at least 12 to 18 inches of snow. But as of this morning, they are saying that we should see about 24 inches. That's two feet of snow, you guys. Two rulers. The truth is that we will likely get closer to 16 to 20 inches. But if there's a slight chance that we get more, then I'll tell you. Wow, two rulers? Is that the most snow anyone will see from the storm? Nope. They're actually saying that in Washington, D.C., they could be hit with almost three feet of snow from the storm, which is a ridiculous amount of precipitation. That's three rulers. Imagine trying to shovel out three feet of snow. The best part about all of this is that the snow is going to carry on from Friday night through the day Saturday and even into Sunday morning. I'm going to be out on a limb here and say that it is going to be very difficult to get all that snow cleared up enough for everyone to be safely to school on Monday. So students out there, wear those pajamas inside out and pray for a day off. Teachers, make sure you have your snow day work ready for Monday, just in case. Stay safe this weekend. Back to you, John and Savannah. Thanks, Jordan. You know, I always found it funny that when these storms come, everyone runs to the grocery stores to get bread, eggs, and milk. Like, how does everyone run out of these three things every time a storm comes? Who knows? If I went to the store before a storm, I'd be going to get things like ice cream, candy, and soda. Parents love when their kids are stuck in the house and have all three of those things. Oh, I know they do. In other news, would you believe that we haven't had a single birthday on CTN since January 10th? Today we have some local celebrity birthdays to go. On Sunday, Amelia Matt in grade 7 celebrates her birthday. Amelia, we would like to wish you a very happy birthday. Since you probably won't be able to get out of the house, we hope you find another time to celebrate. And just in case we aren't here on Monday, Jasmine Stewart in grade 6, oh wait, 7, and Lexi Isery in grade 8 are celebrating their birthdays on Monday. Hopefully, we will honor your birthdays with a day of off school. Off of school. Now here's Jordan again with a special birthday segment that she wrote for today's broadcast. <laughs> Thanks, John. Also on Sunday, Mr. Ford, the fifth grade teacher and founder of CTN, is celebrating his birthday. He started working here last year and ever since then, the school has improved in so many ways. Last year, he taught what is now sixth grade, and each of them for sure can stand up and say that he's impacted their life in so many ways. He also started CTN. Not everyone on the morning show just shows up for the news. They show up because they're motivated, and they have a lot of fun here. I know I can say that, and so can the rest of CTN. Happy birthday, Mr. Ford, from all, from all of us at CTN, the sixth grade class, 
everyone who you've ever impacted. We are very thankful to have such a wonderful teacher at our school. Thanks, Jordan. Attention cast members of Susical Junior in grades 5 through 8 only. Please go to Mr. Ford's room today during your lunch recess to pick up your materials for the play. Cast members in grades 3 and 4, please go to Mr. Ford's room at 12.10 p.m. for a few minutes to pick up your materials as well. Teachers, we apologize for any inconvenience. So again, students in grades 3 through 8 who are in the play, please go to Mr. Ford's room at 12.10 today. Let's check in on our fundraising goal for the Dance for a Cure. Wow, would you guys believe that we are 67% of the way to our goal? Rena Robinson leads all fundraiser fundraisers with $525 raised. Rena, that is amazing. In second place is Timmy Foreman, who has raised $405. Between Rena and Timmy alone, they have raised close to $1,000. So what are the rest of you out there doing? How come you haven't signed up for this event yet? What's your excuse for not sparing a few hours to help kids with cancer? The dance runs from 2 to 8 p.m. on Saturday, April 9th, but you can only sign up even if you can only participate for a few hours. You don't have to be there for the whole time. While you're snowed in this weekend, go to the school website and sign up for the dance. Come on, don't you guys want to help these kids with cancer? Don't you want to see Mr. just get a buzz cut during a school assembly? What are you waiting for? Today's saint of the day is Saint Anastasius the 14th. Once a magician, Anastasius was a soldier in the army of the ruler of Persia. When that ruler carried the Holy Cross from Jer Jerusalem to Persia, he was so impressed with the relic and with the demonor of the Christians that he left the army, became a Christian, and then a monk in Jerusalem. After seven years, Anastasius went to Persia to convert to his own people. He was taken prisoner and promised honors by the king if he de denied Christ. Remaining constant in the faith, Anastasius was strangled and beheaded with 68 or 70 other Christians on January 22, 628. His remains were taken to Palestine and later Rome. He is honored as a martyr on the, of the church. Now, here's Sierra with today's random YouTube videos. All right, you guys. I found this video on YouTube and thought it was so funny. So we're sharing it with you today on a new feature we call Random Friday YouTube Video. This is a skit about people who are trying to pull a prank with eggs and eggs fall on someone's head. Check it out.
Thanks, Sierra. Okay, you guys, that's it for us today. We hope you guys stay safe and warm this weekend. Be careful if you're going sledding. Since the snow will be so deep, it's very easy to fall or get stuck. We don't want anyone coming back to school on crutches from snow injury. Hopefully we'll see you guys on Tuesday instead of Monday. Have a fabulous weekend. The snow is coming. Ah!